Hi kiddos, how are you doing today? I hope you enjoyed doing your IXL today for something different to do. Now remember when your parents are asking you to do these lessons that I'm asking your parents to ask you. So you're really doing the lessons for me, okay? So make sure you're doing your hardest work and, and working really hard for your mom and dad or grandparents or whoever because uh, they're helping me out a lot. And I know how smart you all are and I know that you can do all the stuff that I'm asking. Okay, so remember that. But I have two things I want to show you. We have some butterflies. I'm gonna share my screen. The, I have the butterfly habitat right here. Um, so you can see a couple of them. We do have five of them. Let me turn this around so you can see the chrysalises that are empty now. So there's the empty chrysalises. Okay, and then the butterflies are, oh, there's one right there by my fingers, and there's one up there. I'm trying to show you one on the side. Oh, there's one on the side. I'm going to put this under my, uh, when I share my screen so you can see it. Now at the bottom of this habitat, there are some big, pretty colorful butterflies that are just drawn on there. So those aren't ours, okay? So ours are gonna be a little bit smaller. So let me go ahead and share this. We're also going to be digging up our next bean seed too. So if you are joining me in doing that, and if you want to get your beans, you can pause this and go get them. If you're letting your beans grow and you just want to watch, that's fine too. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay. Oh, there's one right at the top for you guys. Again, those big ones at the bottom, those aren't real butterflies. Those are just kind of drawings, but you can see a couple of ours. Let me see if I can move that, turn that a little bit. Well, there's a good one on the side, right, right over here. And I'm going to turn it so you can see these ones on the top. Now they'll have to stay in here for a few days. And I want to pick a nice day to let them out. I don't want to pick a rainy day to let them out. Um, usually I put some big flowers in there, like some irises, but my irises aren't blooming yet. So um, after I get done here, I'm going to cut up some strawberries and put them in the bottom of their habitat. And that way they can get like the juice from them. The flowers, they can get the nectar from the flowers. So they do need that for the first couple days until I let them loose. Okay, so again, we have one right there. We have one on the edge. And then this pretty one on the side that keeps fluttering. So I'm going to put them aside for a second. Well, actually, I might try to get their, without letting them loose, I'm going to try to get their chrysalises out of there to show you a little bit better. This one's really close here. I hope he doesn't get out. Very carefully here. I have had to ban my cats from this room because they can hear them fluttering around and they want to try to get to them. All right, so I'm going to set this aside for right now. I'll bring it back before I sign off of here. And then this is the chrysalis thing I got from the bottom. These are all their empty shell, chrysalis shells that they came out of. So those are kind of cool to see. I'm trying to let them come into focus for you a little bit. So yeah, they all came out of there. The dark, dark spots there are when they were still caterpillars, they shed what's called that exoskeleton or kind of their outside covering. And they do that one last time before they um, build their chrysalis. So that's just a little bit of their, their caterpillar exoskeleton. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if I can get it up a little bit higher to let it zoom in a little bit more. All right. Again, I will bring the butterflies back up before I leave, but right now I'm going to get my beans over here. We'll dig up our second bean and see if we see any change in it whatsoever. And we might not. Again, it was kind of a, not a lot of sun today. It was a little bit warmer, so maybe, maybe we had some activity going on. We'll just have to dig here in the dirt and see if we can find anything. Again, I like to dig that whole piece out so I can see for sure what, um, where I've dug. And then I'm taking this dirt out and I'm filling up another egg carton to plant some more stuff. Because again, I don't like to waste anything. I'm gonna move that over here. 
And let's dig through this dirt and find our bean. Oh, I think this one might have some activity going already. Oh, this one has a lot. Remember what day did I plant these? I planted them on Wednesday, I think. And look at this one already. Look at that one growing already. Remember when we did the lima bean, um, this embryo part was inside the lima bean. Um, so this was all inside here. I don't know if I can peel this off, but here, remember in the lima bean, we had that outside covering, the outer shell, the coat, the seed coat, protect the shell. I'm gonna go ahead and tear that off since we're, so that's what this bean's outer coat looks like. It's a darker color bean. So see, that was there. Let me see if I can, oh, oh this one's gonna open right up. And this is what's kind of fun about digging them up. I know some of you don't want to, but remember we said this big area right here on the bean is just its food storage because it needs its food to start growing. And if you look close here, you can see some leaves coming from under there. Try to get them up without breaking them. I might see if I can just pull that whole thing off. Well, there's that part I took off. That is going to be, uh, that's the new plant that's starting up. Uh, well, that's actually probably the roots that are going. And then I see the leaves in here are getting a little bit bigger. So this would probably be the new plant, but it's hard to get those out there so you can see without tearing them. But um, there were some new leaves inside of there as well. So that is what's going on underneath the soil. Okay, it's getting roots and then it's getting this part that will start growing into the stem. Okay, so it's kind of cool that we never get to see what's going on underneath of the dirt. We just get to see what comes out afterwards. So that one had a lot of growth in just a couple days. Um, now we might dig up one tomorrow and it might not have anything going on with it. That just kind of seed to seed, kind of how some of you kids grow faster than others. It could be the same thing with the seeds but eventually they'll all be growing up like that. Okay, one more time, let me bring the butterflies back. I wish I could get where you could see this really pretty one on the, yeah, I'll turn it just a little bit. If I wonder what I'm doing, you can kind of see him right down there. I wish you could see, I'll try to take a picture, maybe my daughter can, of their long tongues. Their tongues are really long. Or maybe I'll just try to Google one and show you. Their tongues are really long because they get down there in the flowers to get that nectar out. All right, guys, let me stop this. And I will take more pictures and videos of the butterflies and share with you. All right, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, have some fun with your family, do some fun stuff outside. I think it's going to be a nice weekend to do that. And uh, I'll share more of the beans and the butterflies throughout the weekend. All right, guys, I miss you. Bye.